Steven's going to use the wall. He's going to swim into the wall. He's going to know his stroke count plus his count from the flags. Typically, the, most of the older girls and boys are going to take one and a half cycles, three arm strokes, from the flags to the wall. So let's watch Steven nail the distance from the flags to the wall, and he's just going to stop with his feet on the wall. So as he swims in, he's sort of gauging his turn one, two, and stop. And there, are many, there are many ways to push off the wall. Some swimmers will hit their feet high and push off deep at an angle, and then they'll come back up. What we would prefer our swimmers to do is to rotate a little bit further and get their feet in the middle of the cross. So if their feet are planted a little bit deeper, they can come out in one straight line, which is going to allow them less time going down and then less time coming back up. Okay, as Steven's swimming in, He's gauging his stroke, and he's getting a sense for where he is. One, two strokes, tight tuck, plant, plants those feet a little deeper, and then just jumps off the wall. If it takes your, your turn just a little bit more time to put your feet right where you want them, that's better than having your feet hit high, then slide down, go too deep, and most backstrokers have a tendency to go way too deep instead of staying you know, just uh, uh, two feet or so under the surface of the water.